Hello everyone and welcome to another powder toy video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a water distiller. So a water distiller pretty much just turns regular water like this into distilled water. So there's no real use for this, it's just like a little project to do. So first in walls get a basic wall and make your cursor about this big and click and then get an erases walls we get one cursor smaller and click again and then erase this bottom part right there then get a liquid wall right here and then shift and drag cross to create a liquid wall barrier so that will make it so that only water gets through there which will become useful later. Next, um, get a basic wall, and I'm shift dragging to make lines, and then so get erases walls, make it as small as you can, and then just make two little cuts right there and there. And then in the bottom make a big cut along the bottom and in place of that get a E wall and put some on top right here then get a liquid wall and put some along the bottom like this and yeah next the last thing you're gonna do with walls is make a little cut going to the e wall right there. So, yeah, this is the beginnings of your di water distiller. So, next, in electronics, get a P type silicon and run it through that little cut you made and extend it a bit. Then, do the same with an N type silicon. And then, in powered materials, get a powered clone and put it right there so it's touching the p-type and n-type token next we're gonna go into the console the console is activated by pressing the tilde it's a key that is like a squiggly line it's on like the top left of most keyboards and then do set with an exclamation point okay do exclamation point set c-type p-c-l-n n-e-u-t if you didn't understand that, that's okay, but basically it made it so this powered clone will clone neutrons, which distills water. <laughs> and then, next, press and hold Z, and make the cursor as big as it can be, and then center it so that the, um, the E wall hole is, like, right near the end. And then, you can actually draw inside this little zoomed window. So get some tungsten and make it run out of that hole you know what, that's, that's gross <laughs> shift click to make lines and then get a switch and do the same like right there and then I'm gonna hold Z and click again to make it longer then that's probably all we need with the zoom for a bit and then make a p-type silicon coming out of the top and an n-type silicon going out the bottom and finally I'm gonna need zoom again put some tungsten right at the end and then after that a battery then you can pause it by pressing space and yep this is actually pretty much the whole thing so but just to make sure your electronics don't overheat, this is one add-on that you can do in special. You can make like a couple clones around this, and then you can type in this command: exclamation point set C type C L N E L N two. Didn't understand that? That's okay. But it'll make it so those clones make liquid nitrogen, which will cool down the whole thing. Yes, I know you can just get some liquid nitrogen, pour it on the clones, but I don't know. I just like using the console. I just realized something. You are going to want to make this one quick edit. 
um, get a allows all particles of blocks air wall and make a thin line of it down at the bottom right there that make it so your water doesn't go flying <laughs> yeah I'm gonna need to shorten my wall So yeah, I shortened my wall, so you should end up with something like this. I'll save that. And now, get some water. Put it in there. Start physics by pressing space. And then, in electronics, get your spark. And then, once all the water is settled, click on the P-type silicon, and that will start the distiller. If you're on fancy graphics, which you can get to by pressing 7, then keep it on for like 3 seconds after the whole thing fills up with this blue glow. Then click on the end type silicon, and that will turn off the distiller, and it will take a few seconds to dissipate. And then you're going to need to make a little bowl, so you can make one out of diamond, to catch your distilled water. So then get the spark and then you can wait for the neutrons to die down but you don't have to because that's the reason why we put a liquid wall there and then click on the p-type silicon connected to the switch and that will start the distiller to flow out and this distilled water to flow out then click on the n-type silicon to shut the gate and there's your distilled water so like I said earlier, this has no real use. It's just a project. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.